Yes, um, just trying to catch myself, you know, having to talk to another mother, another family, and the loss of a child so tragically breaks my heart, it has me fighting back, fighting back tears, you know, and we just pray that the community comes together and help the police solve these, this and other crimes in an expeditious manner, you know. Once and for all, we have to come out and say, enough is if enough is enough. You know, talking to the mom just now <sighs> breaks my heart. You know, so it's not much more we can say that just that we help help the police. The community's got to got to do what they got to do to help the police do what they got to do, so that we can find closure to this murder and others and others. You know, uh, like I said, once for all, we must come together and do what we got to do. But however small information, any names you may know, any anything you may feel, let the authorities know so that we could, so that they could do what they got to do. I just want to clarify before you go any further, police didn't identify that it was a murder. I just want to make it correct that we, you don't get ahead of the... Well, okay, well, let me clarify that because you are right, and I hope I'm, I am going too far. But um, it's not been yet um, confirmed that it's been a murder, but it's definitely another body that has been found here in the golf course. Minister, right? Minister, you've been, you've been thrown into this position mm -hmm. uh, from the deep end. How, uh, how are you coping, and how are you going to do things different in the ministry? Well, when you say different, um, what I'm focusing on is is the community aspect, you know, um, not not necessarily an enforcement, but but trying to get get all of us involved, man. The churches, the community clubs, the 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 men on the street, everyone must take their their part, play their part in the responsibility of of what's happening to our country, man. You know what I'm saying? And anybody that sits on and looks at others to do the job that we all should be doing. You know, I want to look at them and tell them why. Get up, roll up your sleeves, and we all get together to save our country. Minister, what's preventing yeah? people in the community uh, speaking with police and, and giving the information that's needed to uh, solve these crimes? Well, fear, fear is always an issue, but there are mechanisms that, that um, we have put in place on crime stoppers. You know, there, and because of our community, we all know somebody who's in the know, so it's not necessary that you have to publicly, people have to publicly say what they know, you know. One of the benefits of a small community that most of us know a policeman that we can talk to and or crime stoppers. Now, well, you're not the first uh, Minister of National Security to call for unity. It's the issue of violence. Mm. Um, obviously, this has been an ongoing thing for several years. Many mm. MPs, members of the public have called for unity. Uh, what do you think is going to actually what do you think it's going to take to actually get that unity? Well, constant crying. You know, the, um, constant calling out for the community to be unified in our approach. You know, we all just have to do it. And yes, those before me have called on it. And while I'm here, I'm going to call on it. Because unity of the community is what we're going to need to get to the bottom of this stuff. Uh, is there some sort of government mechanism that perhaps you could use to try to um, encourage people to come together in the way that they haven't previously? Well, I'll tell you um, what, what the ministry is doing now. We are looking to have um, a retreat of the various stakeholders, much like what I promised when I first was appointed, that we would have a retreat of all the various stakeholders, so, um, all facets of our community, right, under one roof, to see what we can do in a unified method leaving no stone unturned so that we could try our best to get to the bottom of it. Lastly, Minister, would you consider this to be a crisis we have with our young black men um, in this island? Crisis is an understatement, man. You know what I mean? Um, if, if, if I could be brutally honest, mm -hmm. you know, um, the way we, we approach COVID, shut things down, got tough on, on certain things and certain people, now it's past the time that we have to look at look at what's happening to our young black man in that same manner, with that same fervor. You know what I'm saying? Whatever it takes for us to deal with it, it must be dealt with. 